have two brands that I'm in between. Which one will it be? Hmm. <laughs> Another sketchbook complete, and it's time to start a brand new one. But before I begin painting inside the sketchbook, I'm going to custom design the cover of the sketchbook and make this new sketchbook one of its kind. Let's go! Ah, what a feeling. Excitement, fear, happiness. It's a new sketchbook. It feels good, it's a little nerve-wracking. However, it is a new opportunity, so I'm going to be a little bit more daring this time with the cover. My sketchbooks feel like a place where I can have fun, experiment, and adding a little something to make it personal makes them feel special to me. I love telling stories, and if you've been watching the channel, I love expressing my feelings and capturing the moment in my sketchbooks. You know that when you open my pages, there's a inside cover that creates a theme for the sketchbook itself. So I figured, why not make a beautiful custom cover to fit the theme of the sketchbook? This time, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Okay, let's get to planning. Since this one has 100% cotton watercolor paper and the pages are deckled, we're gonna go with this one just to fit the theme for today. I guess I can always design a second cover, right? The start of any artwork is like a creative quest where you dig deep and begin to unravel your vision. Since there are infinite possibilities, every decision you make plays an important role. Your mind races, your heart rate goes up, and it's like you're on a mission to bring all of the puzzle pieces together. With this specific puzzle, I needed to create a plan, a sketch, a blueprint that I can follow to ensure that the final transfer will go smoothly. I wanted to create something one of a kind with meaning, something that came from within, something that will inspire me to pick up the sketchbook and create in it, and most importantly, something that makes me happy. I pulled out some of my recent sketchbooks. I really love the way I did the gold in here, so I'm gonna think about how I can incorporate this into the sketches. Right now, I'm just not sure which design to go with, and I'm going through some inspirations and some typography, some monograms with this new book I purchased. It's been helping, but I think that it's just, there's so many possibilities and I just can't decide. I'm just trying not to overthink it too much and just let it, let it flow, let it, <laughs> just let it be. As artists and creatives, I think it's really incredible how we can just figure things out. Each project is full of ups and downs, but really trusting yourself and knowing that you will figure it out and that it'll come out great no matter what can give yourself a little boost. And there's always a moment where you're sketching and getting your ideas polished until this happens. You know when you have that light bulb moment? Looking at this sketchbook where I just experimented with gold for the first time, I'm thinking like what if I actually engrave gold into the sketchbook? I started researching on what would be the most practical way that I can approach the gold engraving into the sketchbook. And since it's leather, I can do gold leaf, but I was thinking it would just get a little bit messy with the glue. Maybe it wouldn't be as intricate since I'll have many, many little details as what I'm thinking. Really grab that vintage feel. So I came across this thing called gold foiling. And I think that it might work. And I just checked a nearby art store that has them in stock, so let's go get them. All 
right, this is what I found. It's called foil quill, and it's actually going to heat activate by plugging this USB in, and this way I'll be able to engrave the gold into the sketchbook. How cool, I'm so excited. Um, I am nervous because I have never used this before. I don't know if how that's gonna work out, but I am excited to try it. So let's refine the sketch and then get to the finished piece. Definitely, definitely very ambitious project, but I have faith it's gonna work out. I think it's gonna be great. Next, I'm going to be printing out this sketch so that I can align it perfectly with the foil to make sure that the measurements are gonna be spot on. So wish me luck. Before we move on to the sketchbook cover, I just wanna take a quick moment to thank today's sponsors, Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. I've recently been making more time to read, and it helps with inspiration from my own storytelling. Every month, you receive this beautiful blue box, and inside, the book of your choice, from a curated selection of new and early release titles. Every month changes, which is awesome, but here are the books you can choose from in May. Oh, and looks like this is Matilda's selection of the month. Their team vets hundreds of books each month, and all you have to do is pick from the selections, and this way you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Another thing that's great is that they have a skip policy. Book of the month is risk-free, you can skip any month, any time, and you won't be charged. Plus, they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction, and you can get your first book for just $9.99 with code GOMAY. I'll be reading Book of Night for a shadowy fantasy. And I'm excited to see how this story inspires my art. Head to bookofthemonth.com to check out their picks and be sure to use code GOMAY to get your first book for $9.99. Isn't it so interesting how covers can make you just really excited about a book? I don't know, this one, specifically these borders, maybe I can find a way to incorporate these really cool designs into the borders, but actually holding the hardcover books just fills me with inspiration and also seeing how a book looks through the end pages and the beginning first two title pages give me inspiration on how to structure my sketchbook like a real book that's gonna tell a story thank you so much book of the month for sponsoring today's video and let's jump right back in to the finished hardcover sketchbook cover Placement looks good. I'm getting a little nervous to start. Oh, you just gotta go for it. But let's um, unbox the foil quill pens. This is show you. I've never used these. But you're supposed to plug this in. I did get ahead of myself and unbox this one. But you get this USB pen and you plug it in and it's going to heat up the tip. And that's gonna allow us to really engrave and freestyle that gold onto the sketchbook. So here is the paper. It's very, very thin. It looks like this. The gold goes on top and then you just heat press the pen over it. And then I'm going to begin freestyling in the sketch. So I'm going to trace it once over onto the gold and then I'm going to just hope for the best and go for the finish. 
when the pen has heated. Since it's my first time trying out this method, I made sure to give myself a practice round to get to know it a little bit. And for this, I used some of the scraps that I cut up and a smaller sketchbook. I tried to pick a similar surface hardcover just to warm up my hand and get used to it. I began with some letters for practice and I started with a light sketch over the gold to mimic the same exact procedure I'll do when I begin the big sketchbook. Definitely started a new project with a learning curve, but it was a lot of fun. Within five minutes, I felt it warm, and I decided I'm pretty much just gonna treat this as a pencil. something to check it already i did one line look it's so interesting how it just engraves it in there i'm just gonna go slowly and see wow that's cool all right hopefully it's working hopefully i'm doing it right <sighs> like holding my breath <gasps> oh <laughs> oh that's nerve-wracking but it looks really cool I am shocked on how amazing that felt. It's actually very, very sensitive. The letters actually came out a little messy, but I know what I have to do to be able to control this. Off the bat, I realized that once you make one stroke, you just gotta stick with it. You can't overwork it because the heat kind of like overflows the gold. So you just have to be really slow with it. But doing the small practice section was definitely worth it. And now I'm super pumped to start the very finish. I'm triple checking that the placement is correct. I'm also stretching the tape around the hardcover. This cannot move since I won't be able to lift it until the very end. Patience during preparation was super important here.
That is so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited. this i'm like so so happy it's magical to me it just feels like i am so excited to begin painting inside i'm speechless this was a lot of fun very very time consuming however i feel like it was all worth it thank you so much for joining me today on this new experiment this new challenge and here's the finished result I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. It was really satisfying and I just zoned out and created. Cheers to a new sketchbook and a new tool I'll definitely be using for future projects. <laughs> you saw it here first, folks. Thank you so much for your support, for your kindness, for your love. I'm so happy to have you guys. It was a long day of creativity, but a very, very happy one. With all the hard work, effort, and meaning that went into this front cover, I'm so ready to begin painting inside. If you enjoyed watching this process, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, say hello, and if you're new here, subscribe! There's tons of creativity, motivation, and inspiration here. I have a website and a Patreon you can check out as well, and I'm wishing you an amazing day or night wherever you are. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!